you to do it, which is kind of technically wrong, was I would drop, similar to, watch face for me, similar to when you drop for hip on C and Aggie here, you throw your knees all the way through here and come real low. Won't do the throw, so I'll leave it nice and loose. Let your piece here and you throw. Okay. You can do the same with Marotta C and Aggie, which makes it really tight because I've got the collar. So similar footwork, one, Two, but this time I'm dropping to my knees here. Three, getting a real nice drop. Very powerful dropping technique. Dropping to your knees. Technically, dropping to your knees uh, it, it isn't perfect. Okay, you're meant to do a low squat. You need very strong legs for this, um, and to be confident about your knees. So if you have knee injuries, I'll probably leave this one out. Okay, but my old coach used to do this really well. One. Two, three, and look, I start squatting here, so I'm really low, and I start bringing Callum over the top of me. If I keep him here on the hip, there's a lot of pressure on the legs. So look, this hand here is driving him over the top, which starts to make him light. So here, one, two, three, and look, I'm driving him away, so I don't even need to come up that much. It's at this point where a lot of like, purists for throwing will tell you it's okay to, if I go here and now I come to my knees, this is a little bit better than just throwing your knees through. Okay? I used to catch a lot of people throwing my knees through, but again, it's driving it forward, 